Hello rocket makers! So as you can see, our stack is stacking up. So we'll talk about the progress that has been made and uh, some issues going forward. All that after this. Remember folks, I've been certified to build and fly rockets up to level 3. If you don't have these qualifications, you might want to consider a simpler project and perhaps join one of your local or national organizations. Rocketry is a very safe hobby if you follow some very simple guidelines. Okay, so what's new here? Well, we saw on the end of the last video I was printing the uh, S4B stage transition. Um, and I'm going to take that out right now and talk a little bit about that. Okay, so the transition is pretty straightforward. You are going to need some supports here. Uh, so supports around the edge here. I did not print with supports in the interior. And again, that's fine for a display version, but uh, it actually um, doesn't have a lot of the structure for it. Now this transition is for display purposes only. It is not the flight article. And the reason for that being, this is going to be the separation point between uh, the lower and the upper half, so where the parachute uh, comes out and so on. And how this mates with the bottom half is, um, this isn't sufficient. So the recommendation for uh, a good solid structure is to have this, um, I don't even know what you call that, shoulder I guess. Uh, so for the shoulder it has to be uh, at least half the um, diameter of the bottom stage and you can see this is nowhere near that to do that in plastic I just can't physically do it because it won't fit on my printer uh, So I'm going to do something very similar to this But in a little bit more and I'm going to have a body tube coupler that can then fit inside of the lower part Now that also means what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the ring here, which is the top details of the uh, S2 stage um, so that's where there are some corrugations and some details and so on. So that was going to be printed anyway. So it would kind of make sense to put it uh, on the same piece. And we'll talk more about the design of the lower half later. Uh, because especially for the flight version, um, there's a lot to that. So that'll be in an upcoming video. Okay. So, going back to the rest of it. So we've made a lot of progress on the S4B stage. Um, this is actually fairly detailed. It's kind of hard to see because it's all white and uh, white doesn't really work well with cameras. But uh, yeah, you can see some of the umbilicals, some of the antenna, some of the service tunnels um, and so on. And you can even see the, um, the vents for uh, air pressurization equalization. Okay, so right now I've got the top half design finished. The bottom half actually has probably the most details of any other part of the Saturn V. So it's taking a little bit longer. You're going to have to be a little bit patient for that. But uh, yeah, so there it is. Okay, now while looking at this and through the process of conversations I've had with some of my rocketry builder friends, um, I have discovered one issue. Okay, so 153rd scale. Why did I pick that? Well, the reason is um, there are commercial body tubes that are available at seven and a half inches, 7.51, okay? So that was, that scale was chosen so that this would fit perfectly on top of that body tube. But there's a problem. Apparently 7.51 inch body tube is the inside diameter, not the outside diameter. So that would have a very uh, significant edge protruding from out underneath this. So this is the wrong scale. Okay, so instead of 153rd, I really needed to print in 152nd. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if you haven't started printing anything yet, wait. If you have started printing anything yet, I'll cover that in a moment. Okay, so your choices are to reprint everything in a 152nd scale instead of a 153rd. But if you're like me, you've already spent a lot of time in plastic printing out what's already here. So the easiest solution for that is to adjust 
uh, you know, make this a little bit not quite to scale and just adjust the base diameter of uh, the um, transition. And I'm going to do that. But because it is easy to do, and it is really easy to do, I am going to provide two versions, one at 152nd scale, one at 153rd scale. So if you're already printing at 153rd you, and you're doing a display model, you can continue doing 153rd. I mean, for me, it's just an extra step when I'm uh, creating the, um, the STL file, okay? And I'm going to have a uh, version of this that changes from 150, 153rd on top to 152nd at the bottom. So it won't be exactly to scale. If you want it exactly to scale, you will have to reprint. Uh, but if you have the parts already printed, you can use those. Okay? So that's where we sit going forward. Okay, so what's up next? Well, obviously, we have to do the bottom half of the S4B stage. Um, in addition, what I am looking at currently is the uh, design for the um, well, the S1 and the S2 stages, so the, the bottom part of the Saturn V. Okay? Now, for the flight version, that's not going to be all plastic. Um, plastic and rocket engines don't always go well together. So I'm going to be using a material called Bluetooth by a company called Always Ready Rocketry. I'll have a link below. And um, there are some interesting aspects of that design, so I'm going to save uh, that for a separate video as well as I'm going to finish the Roxim design file so we can uh, have both and talk about it together. Okay, so for now, that's it. Like I said, I will be producing uh, different versions of these, 52nd scale, 53rd scale, and this one in both those scales plus uh, a version that will bridge the two. Okay, so look for those design files. Now, I am also starting a Patreon account, and I'll produce a video shortly that will explain some of the uh, benefits of joining that. Uh, but one of them is that you're going to get earlier access to the design files. So if you're a Patreon, you're going to see the design files a full month before everyone else. Okay, so uh, I am going to continue with the, uh, the parts that we currently have. So when I finish the S4B stage, those will still be on Thingiverse right away. Uh, but the rest of them will be on Patreon a month before anywhere else. Um, so prepare for that. Okay, so that's it. As always, if you uh, like these videos, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Recommend them to your friends. Leave a comment below if you want to talk about anything. And uh, as I've already mentioned, I have uh, links for my brand new Patreon account uh, down below. So uh, feel free to uh, become a Patreon as well. Uh, until then, have fun building and have fun flying.